The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian. And you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. And we'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafreya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm, I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafreya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravis. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about. Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing his majesty's sword. My dad's. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. <laughs> for all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding onto the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Who can say? What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They felled a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. And they'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Who feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? 
Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> Well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. Was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Well, you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah, only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big, okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different, got it. We'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change of scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altisha now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodging's our first order of business. All work and no play? Makes Ignis a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you, too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wall. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey, now. Wescom ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh! Was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yep. Runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on Old Wes. <laughs> He'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal! Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, knocked. Yeah. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax, I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order, you may pass. Prepared in advance. Could say that, 30 odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly.
finally back on land. Yeah, barely. They call it the Walls of Water. But it ain't just the walls. It's the whole damn city. Which is why we can't traverse the town by conventional means. We'll need to rely on gondolas instead. Yay! More boats. Hey, not huh? this. Catch. Uh, oh. Key to the boat. What? Don't you want to go sailing again? Are you sure? Why not? Old girl ought to be sturdy enough. Not even an awful driver like Reggie could sink her. A king can't rule with wisdom alone. He needs perspective. So get out there and see the world, you hear? next? Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more? Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose? Uh... Sid, it's all yours. Hey, didn't we just... <sighs> well, we're here to visit uh, a joint. Maga. Mag, Maga is the name, yeah. Never heard of it. Unless you're referring to the alternate entry program. In which case, you may pay the levy directly to me. This amount should suffice. Oh, what a racket. This is your trip. You cough up the cash. Check Westcombe's place out. Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. Oh. The Sid wasn't kidding, it is big. <laughs> Crowded too. You see this, Noct? What about it? We made it. Now let's hurry. The arena. A sec. I was hoping to get a picture or two around here. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. I wonder, is she really gonna leave the army? You seem quite smitten with her. Which one is it? One is what? Her or Cindy. RNA or Cindy? Oh, wow. Okay, uh, whew, uh, let me think about this for a sec. I've no doubt both of them can wait.
you see that over there, Noct? What about it? So, what do you want to do? Flavor of the day is... Continue harvesting for soldiers. Now that you mention it, that does seem like overkill. struggle a bit without you. Oh, yeah? Couldn't get the fire going. You could've just cast a spell. Kinda overkill, don't you think? Hopeless. Next time I'll show you hacks how it's done. Is it evening already? Time flies when you're having fun. Whoa! Look, Nut! What is it? See that over there? What about it? Oh. It is quite lovely at twilight. Yeah, but there's something lonely about it, too. Gondola! Care for a ride? I'm starved. Let's head back to our room.
Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. You see that knocked? What is it? The entire city's built like a maze. Mm, take care not to get lost. So, care to take a cruise? Ah, the breeze feels good. Indeed. Hey there. Have a good look. See you later. That's it. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> I could taste test for you. in the brochure. Welcome to Accordo, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Wuskam Armor, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. Now I see why people flock from far and wide to the walls of water. Take a shot from here. 
The Archean's awakening. Oh, this lighting's no good. Maybe next time. The Empire effectively runs the show here. You lose sight of that when there's so much else to see. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. So you see lots of Nifs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question, if they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. My dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. Let's take a look inside. Remember, your heart is yours to follow. Just see to it that you proceed with caution. Should you ever need it, Margo is at your disposal. Now I see why people flock from far and wide to the walls of water. What do you feel like? Need something? 
Any ideas for accommodation? Welcome. You won't find fresher fish anywhere else. Appreciate it. You see that fish? I wonder where you can catch it. Dunno! Why don't you ask the shop? Um, couldn't be bothered. Oh. We are exonerous. For generations, we have supported the livelihood of the people of... How about the cafe in the brochure? I uh, was wondering when you might show up. Well then, how may I be of service? Looking to put your skills to the test, eh? That ought to tide you over for a bit. Excellent choice. That ought to tide you over for a bit. It's in your hands now, lads. I can recommend anything on the menu. Teamwork is the key to success, lads. He just stood there, staring at the church and looking all sad. Splendid. Where are we off to? Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. How about a ridela on the gondola? <clears throat> Have a look at this, Noct. And what about it? Gintiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Greetings. Let's call it a day. Soft beds, baby. Hey, this one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. Oh. I swear half your photos are selfies. Hashtag sorry not sorry. 
Well taken. Good morning. Hey. Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we... ...of any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. So, someone caught the secretary at Mago again. She and the barkeep sure are friendly. So what next? Fantastic! Call when you need a ride back! I'm hungry. Take a shot from here. Good call! Now it's picture time! Ready or not? to hold on to this one. What should I buy? Huh. So, care to take a cruise? We made it. Now let's hurry over to the arena. Wait a sec. I thought there was only one god of the sea. You sound troubled, Highness. Something got you questioning your faith? I wouldn't go that far, but I've definitely never heard anyone tell this tale back home. And which one would that be? Ah, yes, Bismarck. Revered here in Accordo, much like Leviathan is across all of Eos. He's not a deity by definition, but the anglers of Altitia have elevated him to the same immortal plane. They pray to him, hoping he'll help them land a big haul. So, do you think he could help me catch a whopper too? <laughs> I can't say for sure, but I suppose there's only one way to find out. The legend has it, Bismarck spends his time swimming where the seabirds flock. Keep your eyes peeled, and maybe you'll spot him. Let's grab a bite. Splendid. Where are we off to?
Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. What should I buy? Need weapons? You've come to the right place. Thank you. Come again!
What are you looking for? Come back whenever you need supplies. Supposed to be a scenic spot nearby. All the locals recommend it. Wanna check it out? Take some snaps. Well, if it comes recommended, sure. Yeah. <laughs> this is what a road trip's all about. So someone caught the secretary of Mago again. She and the barkeep sure are friendly. There's gotta be something going on. She wouldn't spend so much time at that place of Hello, boys. Feel free to browse at your leisure. Stop by again sometime. Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off. Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. Let's grab a bite. I can eat a horse. So, care to take a cruise? Fantastic! Call when you need a ride back! Take a shot from here. Good call! Now it's picture time! Uh, let me get this shot! Gang's all here, see? Us? Let's fish. Like a kid in a toy shop. <laughs> Splendid. Where are we off to? Thank you. 
Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. How about a ridela on the gondola? I can't believe we'll actually get to see her in person. So, care to take a cruise? Hmm. It's nice to not have to kill anything. Fantastic! Call when you need a ride back. Now I hey there! See you around!